Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. So I am Sunny Kuswan. Today we are going to talk about the PyCharm. So in this video, I'll talk in details about what is PyCharm, how to download a PyCharm from internet, and how we can install the PyCharm on our Windows system. So before starting this video, if you are new on this channel, then please subscribe to this channel, hit on the bell icon, so you will get the notification whenever I create a new and interesting video on machine learning and data science. Okay, so let's start with the PyCharm. So PyCharm is an integrated development environment. Okay, it means that it is the application where you can go and do the coding for the machine learning. PyCharm is developed for Python programming. So if you are doing the machine learning or data science coding in Python programming language, then PyCharm is a best option. Okay, so personally, I have used multiple IDs like a spider. I have used different notebooks like a Jupyter notebook, Collab notebook, and the notebook which comes with a Kaggle platform. But personally, I find that PyCharm is a very user friendly and it is very easy and quick to use. Okay, so now you got about the PyCharm. So let's go to the Google and search for the PyCharm and download it. Okay, so let me search for the PyCharm download. Now you can see that it is giving us a search results and here you will find the official site of a PyCharm that is the www.jetbrains.com. You have to click on this link and it will redirect you to the official site where we can download the PyCharm. Okay, so here you can see that the PyCharm has a two variants. One is a professional variant and another one is a community edition. Okay, so professional variant will be the paid variant. So you can use it for a couple of weeks for a free and as a trial version and after that they will charge for you. Okay, and this is the community edition which is a free and completely open source. So you can download this community edition and use it for the free of cost. So today I'm going to download this community edition and going to install on my Windows machine because I don't want the professional version and I don't want to pay the extra cost for this ID. Okay, so let me just download this community edition. So I'm clicking on this community editions download button and it will download this PyCharm community edition for us. If you are just student or passively just practicing the machine learning, then I would always prefer that you should go for the community edition because professional edition is not needed all the times. Most of the companies who are heavily doing the developments for machine learning in a Python programming language and they want to utilize the features which comes with the PyCharm's professional edition, then only they go for the professional. Otherwise, mostly people use this community edition. So here you can see that it will take a couple of minutes to get it downloaded on my system. Okay, so let's just wait for the couple of minutes. Okay, so you can see that our PyCharm community edition is downloaded. So let me go to the folder where I have downloaded. So going to the folder and here you can see that this is the .exe application file which I have to install. Okay, so I'm just clicking on it and it will launch the installation panel for us. Okay, let's wait while get it launched. Okay, so here you can see that welcome to PyCharm community edition setup. Okay, so let me just click on next and here you can find the folder in which you want to install your PyCharm. Okay, so I'm keeping it by default in my C program files. JetBrains is an official company which provides us this PyCharm ID and this is the PyCharm Community Edition 2020.3.1 is the my destination folder. So let me just click next. Before that, you just make sure that it requires around 840 MB space and I'm having enough space around 94 GB. So I can install it very easily. So if you have a very less space on your C drive, then make sure that at least you have around 1 GB of space to install this PyCharm Community Edition ID on your system. Okay, so let me just click next over here and here you can see that if you want to add a shortcut on your desktop. So I'm just keeping everything as a default and I'm just clicking on the next. Okay, and here also I'm not making anything. I'm just clicking on the install and it will start installing a PyCharm on our system okay so you don't need to change any settings while doing the installation it's a very easy process you just click on the next 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 and it will install if you want to just change the destination directory in that case only you can change the destination directory and rest all things you can do through the id later on okay so let's wait while get it installed okay so here you can see that our installation process is completed and we can just click on this finish button. If you want to launch this PyCharm immediately, then you can click on this and just click on the finish. And now it will launch the installed PyCharm Community Edition 2020 for us. Okay, so let's wait while it get launched. I'm getting option to import the config directory or installation directory or do not import the setting. Okay, so I'm just keeping the do not import setting default and I'm just clicking on the okay. Now my PyCharm is getting launched. 
Okay, so now you can see that our PyCharm ID is open. I'm just making it full screen and now we can use a PyCharm. Okay, so in this episode, we have understood that what is a PyCharm ID and how better it compared to the other IDs. And after that, we downloaded the PyCharm from official JetBrains site and then we have done the installation. In our next episode, we'll see that how we can use a PyCharm ID. Okay, so I'll just walk you through the few common features, how to create a project, how to run it and some basic settings in the PyCharm. Okay, so hope you like this episode. If yes, then please hit on the like button. Subscribe to this channel to learn more about machine learning and data science. If you have any questions, doubt, or if you want any content on specific data science and machine learning topic, then just mention it to the comment box. I'll try to create a content on that. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. Stay happy. See you in the next episode. Bye-bye.